Hi, okay, welcome to reverse painting. What we are going to do is we are going to have two parts. We will have your person, and then this is optional. This just shows you a way that you can bring in more information. I've actually printed off, this is a map from my home, but if I was doing an artwork about this person, I would find out where she lived, as in what country or city. And then I used Google Earth, and I stylized it in Pixlr E. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. And I have Google Maps, okay? So that way we can do something a little bit like Ed Fairburn. We also have acetate, which is hard to see in the camera, I know, but it is a piece of plastic. Now, if you don't want it to slide, you might want a little bit of tape while you're drawing. And the first thing we're going to do is to trace her. So you can practice on the person that you've already got. Remember, this is just practice so that you can try these different techniques out and you'll get to choose later. Now, because this is going to go on top of the map eventually, let's show you, I'll take the stylized one. Eventually this is going to go on top of the map, so you don't have to add a lot of patterns because this will allow us to bring in words, pastels, paints, you'll be able to do anything with your map. I've chosen my colours that I want to paint with. I realise I forgot about the eyes, but that's okay. I have paper towel for wiping my brush, cup of water for washing the brushes as I go, and you want to make sure that you have a range of medium for big areas, small brushes. And I also picked up a little bit of bubble wrap, which could be quite nice for adding textures. So before we begin, this is called reverse painting. So what we're going to do is flip over the acetate. And I'm just going to bring this in here. And my paints. And you can, if your paints are a little dry, just mist them with a little bit of water, which I forgot to bring. So I'm gonna be with my lightest color. Now I'll do a smaller brush because I'm inside the face. I'm gonna avoid that wet area, but it is a little dry. So I'm gonna, so I'm going to go to the dry area, dip a little bit of water in here, but not so much that it's runny because it really is going to just run all over your plastic. Okay, now this is reverse painting, so we are actually painting on the back. So just make sure that you're, you flipped it over. It should look opposite to the picture that you just traced. Now for the fun part, let's check. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? So that is why we flip it over. So you put this on top, you draw your lines on this side. Then when you flip it over, you can paint over your lines. Just remember what goes down is what's going to be seen here. <clears throat> now, when you get your map, you might want to have some thick and thin lines and not have everything painted. It could be on colour. Okay. So that is something to think about as well. So let's continue. This, of course, needs to be dry before you put it on the mat. So we want that just to dry naturally. You could use a hairdryer, but you don't want it too hot because it can shrink or melt your plastic.
After you've collected your materials, try and use shape, line, and pattern to create an abstract design. Your design could be about the person, but abstract is totally fine. You can always add more details later connected to the person, as you'll see in my final artwork. just going to hold this on top and now we can put her here I could cut her out and put her here I could have her going this way which I quite like okay so we're going to merge the two together I think I quite like here is a finished sample it has the reverse painting it has duct tape I printed out images of her artworks I printed out a quote of hers I wrote words about her on the spare book pages and I've used markers and pens, paints and pastels. This piece is all about layers. I have layers underneath the acetate and layers on top.